Okay, so this is Recall Box 7, uh, which is a bit like RetroPie. Uh, it is a very, very nice looking operating system for having all your games and ROMs on. And you can see that each system has all the specs and things on it. Uh, year of release, which I particularly like to be reminded of that, so 1998 for the Dreamcast. It's amazing it's that old and it still looks that good. When did the PSP come out? So PSP came out 2004. Uh, oh look, best selling game, GTA Liberty City Stories. I didn't realize they did that. Like best selling game, CPU. Yeah, really, really nice way of doing it. If you look into the menus, you can see that it's again a bit like RetroPie, but, but really nicely done. Uh, I've uh, got a USB stick in mine, and it's actually my RetroPie uh, USB stick, and I'll explain that. Uh, I'll go into Ubuntu and explain exactly how to do that. But the first setting you need to change is to change storage device from internal to the name of your USB stick. So if you if you boot it up with your USB stick in it, uh, it will then show up as the name of your USB stick. Once you've selected that and you hit close, it will do a reboot and then it will recognize your USB stick. But the other step you need to do, uh, and I'll stop now and go into Ubuntu and explain how to do that. Okay, so this is uh, Ubuntu and I plugged in my 128 gig USB stick. And this is actually a RetroPie USB stick, and that's why it's got a folder called RetroPie dash mount. Now, all I did, uh, if you put your USB stick into Recallbox, what it will do is it will create this folder and it will put content in there. Now, there's a couple of things you could do. You could either copy content straight from this, uh, so you can navigate to your ROMs, uh, and then you could pick something, say N64, pick a ROM, and then copy it and then put it back into or put it into your recall box in the ROMs folder. Uh, but all I did uh, was just rename this to recall box. Uh, and so if I click on this and rename, I want to keep the recall box folder there because I want to be able to play around it and find out what goes on. Just call it one recall box, so it's going to be ignored by recall box. Uh, and then this folder, I renamed it to recall box. So now, when Recall Box boots up, it's going to look in all the folders, and most of the folders seem to be the same. Does BIOS come up the same? Yeah, so BIOS is in lowercase on Recall Box, and I don't know if that's why some of these BIOS files aren't, aren't working, because if I go into this one, which was the old RetroPie one, and I go into BIOS, which is in caps, you can see that Dreamcast has got a load of BIOS files in it, and they probably are the ones that it was looking for but it works for some systems. As I say, the proper way to do it would be to let it create that folder and then put the required files into those folders and then with the thing I showed you to change on the system to recognize the USB drive, that will then automatically populate it with all the bits that you need. Now, while I've got it here, I thought I'd also have a look at copying over some ROMs from another drive. So on the left here, I've got my, uh, it's a 750 gig uh, hard drive, which I've got a Damaso build on it, which has got loads and loads of content on there. So if I wanted to copy something from that over to Recallbox, so say for instance, uh, I go into Home and Pi and RetroPie and then ROMs, there are all my ROMs or all the ROMs in that Damaso builder in here. So if you were to go into something like Arcade, you'll find that there's loads and loads and loads. But let's go for something simple like uh, Mega Drive. So Mega Drive, and let's just pick, there you go, three ninjas. Copy that. Then we need to go into this newly created recall box folder and ROMs and look for, is it called Mega Drive or is it called Genesis on this? Looks like it's also called Mega Drive. Yeah, there it is. So I can go in there. You can see I've got some games in there already. Right click and paste that in. Sometimes they read zip files, other times they don't. I'm gonna leave this zipped up and see if it recognizes it. Lots of systems do. Uh, so, and that's it. So then you put your stick back into Recall Box 
uh, boot up your system and it will recognize the new ROMs. So now that you've got your USB stick sorted out and you can flick through the ROMs, you'll see that if you haven't done anything else, uh, some of them won't launch. So if we go to Road Rash, you can see that it's looking for the BIOS files uh, and they're not supplied in this build. And uh, they must be in a different place on my RetroPie stick. So I need to locate all of those and my advice would be to take a photo of it of, of this screen and then basically put exactly those BIOS files into your folder and then that will be able to launch things like Sega Saturn. So let's go back. You'll find exactly the same process is needed with Dreamcast uh, and there was another one. PlayStation is exactly the same as well. So it looks for those BIOS files. So let's just show you something that does work uh, and the one I wanted to show you is PSP which is excellent, and uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, which is a really good game. Uh, so, wasn't as good selling as Liberty City Stories, but, uh, but it is a really, really good game. And all the menus are nice and snappy. Uh, I haven't had to configure the controller at all. I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller. I'm not overclocked. All I've done is put my USB stick in and renamed that folder, and uh, so it's all up and running, but the only thing I need is to sort out the BIOS files, but I'll, I'll cover that in another video probably. Right, so let's get out of this bit. Where's the gate? Let's do a little stoppy before the gate. That's nice. So you can see it's lovely and smooth. It's working fine. Uh, it feels really responsive, just as it should really, and it is just an awesome game. Uh, really works well. The only thing I've found is I don't know how to quit out of this uh, and so the only way I've found of quitting out of this is to press Control alt delete so uh, if someone could leave a comment if they've worked out how to quit out of PPSSPP in this build but uh, but as you can see it's lovely and oh, it's lovely and smooth and works really well. So I hope this helps and uh, thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe.